It's Madden NFL 23, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers, coming up next. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Mason Crosby of the Packers has it teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They'll take that 14 yards on play number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Cousins. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Cousins gives way to Cook. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Cousins on first down. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. Well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Open man is stealing his complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 12-yard line. Back to the ground, Cook. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's going to be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On right, second down, it's Cook again. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Cook. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Second and goal from the one. Cook looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. For a couple of plays, this Green Bay defense is held strong. Now it's third and goal to throw Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown. Justin Jefferson from a yard out. 
And the Vikings post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And now they'll stop play here, at least momentarily. A member of the Vikings in some discomfort after that last play. On second and nine, Rodgers. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he's going to have a Packers first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Coming up on a second and six. To throw is Rodgers. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Rodgers going to throw. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. Touchdown. Christian Watson, 33 yards. And the Packers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Crosby with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. First down, here's Cousins. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Pick, and the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out. And it's a Packers touchdown! Lazard, 32 yards! And the Packers have taken the lead. Extra point try now for Crosby. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And now out comes Minnesota. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Throwing again on second down. Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. Cousins again. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted.
Packers will take over here just shy of the 30. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Let's it fly deep for Cobb. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And yeah, he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. No, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but can I just have a sip of water real quick, please? Thank you. All right, let's go. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. For the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. The run only got a yard, here's second and nine. Throwing now is Rodgers. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Oh, they'll try to jet sweep here with Lazard. And he stopped immediately there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Rodgers now to throw. Able to find Lazard. And he's going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. That's Tanyan bringing in the quick throw. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. And Green Bay. Aaron 
Jones. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Packers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here this fourth quarter. Crosby connects on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Minnesota's offense takes over possession as this offense takes the field again, CD. Remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Vikings on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. And that's taken in. It's B.C. Johnson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Meanwhile, Cousins throw complete there to Johnson. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll throw again. Cousins. Throw caught there by Osborne. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Throwing his Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 14. From the red zone now, Cousins fighting Hawkinson here on the out route. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. To throw again on second down, Cousins flush to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. K.J. Osborne, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Joseph connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And taken down just shy of the 40. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he's across the 40 for the extra yards to the 43. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Back to throw, Rodgers. He finds Watson complete. 
And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An inside give to Jones. It's a game of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. Great time there to come up with his longest run of the night. We just saw it. Leads to a lot of satisfaction because if they're able to hang on and win this game, you know what else will happen in the locker room after this? That's it. Head coaches step up and go, great job, guys. Because of that, come in a little bit later tomorrow.